Welcome back to another Century Snack of the Week. As promised from last week, this week we're joining Adam as he describes a performance improvement that was made by changing the default behavior of Flagger. How's it going, everyone? My name is Adam, and I'm one of the engineering managers here at Century. And today I'm going to tell you a quick story about caching, Python objects, and JSON blobs. Oh my. Like most companies, we use feature flags to show which features to show to customers. Initially, we used a homegrown solution to do this, but after a few years, it started to show its age, and we decided to switch to an open source solution called Flagger. While implementing this, we started to notice a few different performance regressions, and since we build a performance monitoring tool, we decided to use it and really dig into what was going on. Now, on any given page, we may have hundreds or thousands of flags being checked, and what we do is we take all these flags, pass them to Flagger, and we send in some extra context around the user and the organization that they're a part of. Flagger then sends us back a giant JSON blob with all of the details for each individual flag, basically whether or not the user can view that flag. The problem was that Flagger's deserialization code was turning that entire JSON blob into a Python object. This deserialization is actually really expensive to do. So when we removed it and just accessed the JSON blob itself, we noticed a reduction in time to parse all of these flags by about 500 milliseconds. The next problem we saw was around caching. Because previously the deserialization was taking so much time, we didn't actually know that this was a problem until we fixed that. Calling Flagger now is faster than checking and storing in the cache. And something that previously took 900 milliseconds was now only taking 200 milliseconds. Sometimes with performance monitoring, especially at scale, it's less about finding that one specific performance issue and more about peeling back the layers until you uncover a number of different things. Things that you wouldn't expect to be slow, like caching, can sometimes bite you in the butt. Thanks, Adam. It was really interesting to find out that we actually discovered multiple performance improvements by starting with that removal of the deserialization from the flagger response and discovering this caching issue as well. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. You don't want to miss any more of these Century Snacks of the Week.